the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting Accursed Cultist Mutants. Yes, yeah, not the Torments. The Torments are the three bigger ones, which are really, really cool. But for this video, we're going to focus on the Mutants. And then there's another video coming, which will be the Torments. And this is just so that this video, which is already going to be quite long, because we're going to be doing five different Mutants. Um, this is so that this video isn't super, super long because these are super detailed and super awesome miniatures. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by painting all of the consistent details, so the clothes and trousers and boots and things. And then we're going to do the five different skins and mutations all in the same video. And then in the other video, we will be doing the torments. And this is part of the Ashes of Faith Kill Team box that was sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up and paint for all of you. And massive thank you to them for doing that because, well, it's been a long time coming in this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our paints, grab our brushes, and we'll be right back in just a minute. They've been primed in grey, sir. Don't want to forget that. Making sure that I've got that in there. Checklist done. Grey, sir. They've all been primed in grey, sir. So we're going to pop these down and we shall be right back. So the place we're going to start is on these two just here because, well, we've got some different clothing options within these. Now, of course, you could do these all the same, but then they would be look a little bit uniform. And we really want this to be a riot of colour uh, because, you know, chaos. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with these two and we're going to use some Black Legion. I'm going to use this on the trousers and we're also going to use this on this one's hair knot as well. So grabbing up that Black Legion and we're just going to start applying this over the trousers. So with that now done, we're going to pop these two to one side. And for the next two, these two, what we're going to do is we're going to use some Leviathan Blue. I'm going to use this on their trousers. So with that now done, across all of them, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Sigvald Burgundy and we're going to apply this over the top of any robes that they've got. I'm going to do this across all five. So with that Sigvald Burgundy applied to all of the robes, what we're then going to do is take Blood Angels Red and we're going to apply this over the top. And it's going to give us a lovely, deep, chaotic red. So with all of that Blood Angels Red applied, what we're then going to do is take some Garagax Sewer. I'm going to use this painting all of the leather details across our cultists. So with that Garagax sewer all applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Griff Charger Grey I'm going to use this over the top of any kind of bandage wraps. Like that one there. And we have more on this one. And so with that done, our kind of last most consistent base coats are the metallics. And what we're going to do is we'll do two. We're going to do Iron Warriors first. We're going to use this to pick out the majority of the armor. However, on a couple of them, this is kind of dealer's choice. 
but on a couple of them, we're just gonna leave a couple of the panels. And we're gonna do those in a different color. So on this guy, or this lady, I should say, what we're going to do is we're gonna use Iron Warriors over all of it, apart from the helmet. Like that. I'm just gonna pick out the little doodads. Belt buckles. So with that Iron Warriors all applied, we're then gonna take some thins down Rune Lord Brass. And we're gonna apply this over the top of all of our remaining metallics. And as mentioned, this was dealer's choice. So if you haven't left any, you can skip this step. So with that all done, our kind of consistent colors are finished across all three, all five, I should say. There's five of these. I was holding three. All five of our Accursed Cultist Mutants. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take you through each one step by step to get all of the chaos -y mutations done. And then we'll come back and we'll do the War Hipster Battle Ready stage of the whole thing. So we're gonna start with this one. Now the colour we're going to be using for her is we're going to be using Gilliman Flesh first and this one's pretty simple. We're just going to apply this over the top of all of the skin and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the spikes and stuff as well. And with that done, just whilst we're waiting for all the Gilliman flesh to dry, we're then going to take some Volupus pink. I'm going to apply this over the top of the teeth and the tongue. So with that now done, and the Gilliman flesh is all dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and wildwood. I'm going to paint this over the top of the long mutation, the horns and spikes. I'm going to do a bit of blending here. So we're going to start down here at the tip with our concoction. I'm going to bring this up to around about there. Like that. We're going to wash the brush and then We're gonna just blend it out like that. So you get a transition between the flesh color and the brown. I'm gonna do the same thing up on this strand just here. Bring it along, wash the brush, and then just here, going to blend it together and then we just need to replicate this on the back so we'll probably do both at once here up to around about there up to around about there wash the brush blend just like that and then we need to do the same thing everywhere else so for example on here
need to pick out this horn. This little tentacle fella here. And with that now done, we're then going to take some rattling grime. We're going to apply this over the top of the tip of the large mutation. Coming up to around about there. Then we're going to wash the brush. Going to smooth it out once more, like so. And so, with that done, just to get this one all squared away, we're then going to take some Dark Angels Green and we're going to apply this over the top of the little cable. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on this one. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is going to be this one. So the color we're going to be using here first is Dark Oath Flesh. And what we're looking to do is we're looking to paint this over the top of all of this guy's flesh. So I'm going to start in here. Now what we're looking to avoid is any areas that have the kind of demonic muscles. So, what I mean by that is we're going to get this all over like this. And we're going to bring this over the top here. And got a little bit of skin just in there. And we've got this kind of sinew. Got the hole at the back. Like this, and it's been when we get to this part where things get a little tricky. So, we want to apply this over the top of the whole of this bit. We want to leave that little hole just there. Same for around here.
like this. And then we've got all of his face to do. So with that all done, we're then going to take a roughly three parts Creed Camo to one part Rattling Grime mix. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of those kind of demonic muscles. So we've got this little bit here. comes all the way around here and we're going to bring it up over the spike like that we've got this little hole We've got the hand. And we've got this little spike coming out of this hand. Like that. And finally, we've got this one on the head as well. And next up, we're going to take some Nasdreg yellow and we're going to apply this over the top of the tentacles on this fella. And with that now done, we're then going to take some Blood Angels Red and we'll apply this right in here into all the sinews. And so with all that Blood Angels Red applied, we then take some Caraberg Crimson I'm going to apply this around all the splits in the skin. Just to give it that sort of little bit of an impression of bruising. So with that done, that's two out of five. So we're moving on to number three now. So this one, Tentacle Boy. The color we're gonna be using first is Dreadful Visage. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this over the top of all of this area around here. Like this.
I'm going to apply this over the top of the tentacles as well. Apply this all the way. Like that. And then on this arm, I'm going to apply this around there and then up over the top of the tentacle. Come on, bring it down this side as well. Whilst we're waiting for the dreadful visage to dry, we're going to take Dark Oath Flesh once more. I'm going to apply this over the top of the rest of the skin. And whilst we're waiting for that to dry, we're then going to take some Shayish Purple. I'm going to apply this over the top of this tongue. So with that shayish purple applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take Dark Oath Flesh and Drooky Violet. And we're going to do this over the top of this kind of section around here. Not the tentacles, but over that kind of fleshy bit. And what we're going to do here is we're going to start by taking some Dark Oath Flesh. Not very much of this at all. And we want to apply this over the top of the kind of lumps and bumps. Like this. And then on the back, we're going to apply this again, similarly, over the spine and the lumps and bumps, just like that. That's about enough. Then I'm going to wash the brush, grab some Drooky Violet. I'm going to apply this over the top just like this. So with that done and whilst that's drying, we're going to take some Volupus Pink and we're going to apply this over the top of the entirety of all the tentacles. And so with that now done, we're then going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and shyish purple. And we're going to use this to do a bit of blending. So what we're going to do is we're going to start actually just down here. So what we want to do is we want to get this all over. Like that. 
I'm then going to wash the brush. And then we're just going to take off the excess. So we've got a bit of a transition going on. Similarly on the back. Like this. I'm going to get this all over here. Bring it down to around about there like that. We're going to wash the brush. And then smooth out the transition. Just like that. And then on the top of the tentacles, what we're going to do, we're going to do the back halves of them. Just leaving some of that pink. And with that then done, we're then going to take a little bit of Screaming Skull and we're just going to use this to pick out the teeth. Three down, two to go. So we're over the halfway point. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to this guy. Now, the color we're gonna make is a roughly three parts gore grunt of fur to one part dark oath flesh. And if you need to, add a little bit of contrast medium to this just to make it go a little bit further, but you shouldn't need to with this mix. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this all over the top skin. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red and we're going to apply this over the top of all of these outstretched sinewy things. And if you get a bit close to the, the skin, what you can do is you can do a little bit of blending. So we'll do some of that just here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start down here at the tip like this. I'm going to get the Blood Angels red all over like that. And then we're going to bring it down. Like this. And we get here onto some of the skin. Like that. I'm going to wash the brush. And then we're just going to blend the two together. Like that. And so with that done, just whilst we're waiting for the Blood Angels Red to dry, we're going to take some Black Templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the spikes and his hair. And with that Black Templar applied, we're then going to once again use Caraberg Crimson over the top of all the red. So with that done, that's our fourth one done. So we're going to move on to our last one here. And the color we're going to be using first here is Night Quester. No, we're going to be using Blood Reaver Flesh, not Night Quester Flesh. So <laughs> we're going to be getting this Blood Reaver Flesh over the top of all of the skin and all of the tentacles. 
I might take two thin coats. But if it does, that's okay. Just want to build up a nice, strong flesh color. So with that Blood Reaver flesh now applied, we've got two thin coats of it all over. We've got a nice strong flesh color here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna add some extra colors. So what we're gonna do is gonna take some Creed Camo. I'm gonna apply this over the top of all of the tentacled nonsense. I'm gonna bring it up to here. Like that. And we're just going to very quickly wash the brush. And we're just going to take it off the top there, like that. And then we're just going to continue applying this over the rest. So with that Creed Camo applied, we're then going to take a little bit of the Lupus Pink and then just around here, we're going to add some bruising like that. I'm going to wash the brush and then we're just going to smooth out those transitions just a little bit to put the greater concentration of it towards that area just there. And with that Volupus Pink applied, we're then going to take a little bit of Targor Raid Shade and we're going to use this to shade the rest of his skin. So with that done, all five of our mutants have got all of their base coats on. They're looking pretty cool. However, now we've got to add a couple of shades, not very many, and these are pretty much universal shades here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some null oil. I'm going to use this over the top of all of the silver details. So with that null oil applied, we're then going to take Reichland Flesh Shade and we're going to use this over the top of all of the Rune Lord brassy bits. like that and if you want to add some additional shading to any of our kind of mutations and things you can add some right and flesh shade over the top so just add a little bit more there to the leg like that and that one's good to go So with that done, all of our mutants are now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. But we're not going to leave them there. No, we're going to take them to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some highlights. Now we're going to follow the same format that we've done so far. And then we're going to do all the generic highlights. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do all of the individual ones one by one. So we're going to start by highlighting all of the black details that we originally painted uh, with Black Legion. So for example, on this individual, we've got the hair and the trousers. And we'll be using some thinned down Dawnstone for this. 
I'm just going to pick out all the edges and folds. So with all that Dawnstone applied, we're then going to take some thinned down Evil Sun Scarlet. We're going to use this to highlight all of their robes. So with that now done, we're going to take some thinned down iron hand steel and we're going to use this to highlight all the silver. So with that now done, we're then going to take some Sycorax Bronze. I'm essentially going to use this to do a little bit of a relay on our Runeord Brass. Do you want these details to be nice and bright? So with that now done, it is time to start highlighting these up one by one to finish them all off because this is the, all the kind of consistent highlights, as you can see. This one's looking pretty awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some thin down Screaming Skull and we're going to apply this to the teeth. And to the eyeball. in there like that and with that screaming skull applied we're then going to take a little bit of Karak stone and we're just going to use this to add a little bit of a spot highlight to the dark brown and with those Karak stone highlights applied we're then going to take some Flayed One Flesh and we use this to add a couple of little highlights to all the skin. And finally, just to finish her off, what we're going to do is take a little bit of Fulgrim Pink and just going to apply this over the top of the tongue, just like that. One down, four to go. So, we're going to move on to this gentleman now. And the colour we're going to be using first for him is some Black Legion. And we don't want too much here. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of his eyeballs. And over his teeth. So with that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take a tiny little bit of Screaming Skull and apply this over the top of the teeth. Like that. I'm going to add a little dot in each corner of the eyes. As well as highlight. All of the tentacles. And so with that now done, we're then going to take some iron rack skin and use this to highlight the 
sort of demon muscles and teeth. Some things. Just like this sort of thing. And with that iron rack skin now applied, we're then gonna once again take some flayed one flesh. I'm gonna use this to add a little bit of highlighting to all the skin. Now we don't wanna go anywhere near where we did that bruising. I'm just looking to add a little bit of structure, a little bit of visual interest. This sort of thing. So with that, these two are now finished. So we can pop them to one side and we can move on to our third, which is this individual. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some slanesh gray here. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our purple. And with that slanesh grey applied, we're then going to take a little bit of fulgrim pink. I'm going to use this to highlight our sort of Belupa's pinky sections. Like that sort of thing. And with that fulgrim pink applied, we're then gonna once again take some flayed one flesh. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of the remainder of the skin. So with that, three of our accursed cultist mutants are now finished. So we can pop all three of these to one side and we can move on to this fella. Now, I've already done most of the black details with some Dawnstone, I forgot to mention this earlier. However, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some Administratum Grey and we're gonna apply this to the tips of all of these horns. Like that. And with that done, we're then gonna take some black Templar. I'm gonna apply this over the top of his eyeballs. And with that done, we then want to take a teeny tiny amount of Screaming Skull. And we're going to apply this to his teeth. And with that now done, believe it or not, he's nearly finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Blood for the Blood God. And we're going to apply this to the recesses. And 
in all the sinews. So with that done, our fourth one is in the bag, so we can pop him to one side. And we're gonna move on to this final geezer here. And the color we're gonna be using to highlight him first is Strachan Green. I'm gonna use this to highlight his tentacles. And so with that then done, we're gonna take some Nurgling Green and apply this to the sharpest points around the tentacles. And with that Nurgling Green applied, we're then going to take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this on the little teeth. On the inside. And with that now done, we're then going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to use this to pick out all the eyes. There's one there. One there. One there. One there. And there's a large one here on the back. And so with that Black Legion all applied, we then want to take a little bit of Yeriel Yellow. And we basically want to highlight the underside of each of the eyes. And with that year or yellow applied, you want to take a teeny tiny little bit of administratum gray. You want to use this to add a little highlight over the top sides of each of the eyes. So with those eyes all complete, to finish him off and consequently the rest of the mutants, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Night Quest of Flesh. We're just going to use this to highlight his skin. And so they are now done. Nice and simple. There's lots and lots of different techniques going on here, or at least lots of different um, color schemes that you can apply to your accursed cultist mutants but you could definitely see the influence of all of the great pantheon here we have Nurgle, Korn, Zeech and Slanesh these guys are not having a good time they're really really not having a good time or maybe they are who can tell it's chaos stuff maybe everybody's really enjoying it it doesn't look like it if you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you, whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful, amazing people have done. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. 
Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.